Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So uh, in this video, we will begin to talk about the syntax and the structure of a Gherkin file, of a feature file by writing the Gherkin syntaxes. But it is important to also mention why BDD is uh, preferred in some quarters. One of the reasons that BDD is preferred is that it's very inclusive and it also highlights each step. So it's um, uh, an improved version to me is an improved version of TDD ideally, but it's still TDD under the hood because um, the tests are written before anything is done. So write, instead of just writing it in codes, you're writing it in simple English that makes it very inclusive in the sense that non-technical people in the team, like probably a scrum master who is not technically inclined or a product owner who doesn't know about the technical details of things or a business analyst who ideally shouldn't even have business understanding code itself can look at the English written um, syntaxes and understand what has been done in terms of testing and see and understand the journey that has been taken ideally. So that being said, we have previously seen, we have previously seen how it is created, and uh, you can see that um, I um, created the feature file with the same name. I created a folder where I intend to keep the um, I intend to keep the step implementation. Why did I do this? So in the previous version of Cypress, if you um, when you install the Cypress preprocessor. The other thing that you're required to do, ideally, is to define your non-global step definition, either as a, which actually is a Boolean value, it, you either define it as true or false, right? So if you define it as true, or you define it as false, there are different implications. If you define it as true, in those days, it means that your test, your um, step implementation will be co-located in the same place where your feature file is and that should be in the integration folder and if you do it as false you can find your uh, step implementation file anywhere else you declare it to be but ideally even if you don't declare it anywhere to be it will it is expected to be in the support folder but these days with the new uh, preprocessor you can either do it this way you can either assume that you're doing it by setting your non-global definition to true, or you can set it to false. It will just look at it. The first place to check is your E2E -E folder. If you cannot find it there, it looks into your support folder and uh, it will run. So, but I like to stick to the norms I'm used to. So that's why I still use this approach. So let's get into the syntaxes. The first thing you want to write is feature because you are testing. You're actually testing the feature, sorry. I misspelled that feature. So you are testing a feature. So in the feature, you describe what you're testing. So banker um, journey. Let me say banker journey. I can add the description to it and say um, a I can say a user a banker should be able to create and um, assign to create an account assign an account number delete Sorry, delete and count. Then we can move on and begin to create a scenario. Right? We can move on and begin to create a scenario. And the scenario would be basically, um, we can say, because We've already done it before and realized that we cannot separate those tasks because uh, they won't, they will restart differently and those session, the session isn't saved. So it's just one singular thing that we're going to write that a banker should be 
able to create an add an account number then delete the user right the account holder profile so the first thing you would have is given now given is like an initiator of all the tasks that you need to do when you are using Gherkin syntaxes so this one it means the first thing that we need to do is given i am on the bank app then when is like the action that you take and then is the consequence of such actions so when we are on it so say when i click on um, the bank login which is the first part of it and um, i can continue and say because i just want to go through the list of steps so when i click the bank login when i click the bank login and i the next thing i do after clicking bank login is what let's get to home i click bank login and i click add customer when i click add customer when i click on add customer this is going to take some time when i click on add customer and uh, what happens after that and i type in the username the first name the last name and postcode so now you are at liberty to say when i type in the first name first name then you copy and probably do this like three times last name post code now by now you must be like it's becoming a bit mechanical i have so many wins like when i click this when i click when i click this this doesn't look like a fluid english so why don't we use the conjunction to just make it more readable with a better reading feel so let's use the conjunction and to chain all those commands together because we are still doing the same thing so and i type in the postcode and i click on create course summer right let's add button to this because there are buttons so now and i click on create customer button so what this means essentially is that i've been able to uh, successfully create uh, a test so now once i click on this the next thing is all this action should have a consequence so then i should see the customer profile so which means this action that i did all this series of actions has um a reaction a code that is, this is the cause and this is the effect of that cause i should say the customer profile created successfully okay so this will bring us to the end of the video in the next video i would have populated the rest of the actions that we did about deleting deleting that profile and all of that so i would have done that so that in that next video we will be able to do the step implementation this is just to introduce you to it so that i don't um, get we don't get to create a very very long a, a lengthy video not very 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 is not so good english so we don't create a lengthy video i will just i've been able to successfully show you how you write a gherkin syntax right and um, so in the next video this would have been populated and uh, we'll move on to the next thing so if you've gotten this far once again please do not forget to like and subscribe and um, see you in the next video Bye bye